I like to think of our gym sessions sometimes as what I like to call bike riding time. And here's what I mean by bike riding time. If you think back to when you first learned how to ride a bike without training wheels, you were probably concentrating real hard, but you probably wobbled and wobbled and fell off. And you had to get back up on the bike. And you probably were concentrating even harder the next time, but you still probably wobbled and wobbled and fell off. And then you had to get back on the bike. You probably wobbled and wobbled and fell off. But as long as you kept getting back up on that bike, sooner or later, you got to the point where not only was it easy to ride the bike, but you didn't even have to think about it. It was natural. It was second nature. Well, our gym sessions are going to be a lot like that. We're going to introduce some new skill or some new concept, and you're going to get out there, and you're going to wobble and wobble and fall off. And you're going to have to get up and get right back on the bike. And you're probably going to wobble and wobble and fall off again. But as long as you keep getting back up on the bike this week, Sooner or later, you'll hit a point where you just start to do this stuff naturally. It starts to become habit. But that's not going to happen to you if every time you wobble and wobble and fall off, you give up. And you say, well, this doesn't work, and I'm going to go back to my old way, and this stuff will never work for me. If you have that approach, well, then no. You're never going to get to feel what it feels like to be on a bike and riding and having fun and doing things and having it come easy to you. So you're going to have to keep getting back up on the bike this week.